let us observe this polynomial what i have wrote is p of x this read it as p of x what will be the meaning of this in this chapter is this means polynomial in a variable x this is a notation to write a polynomial okay if there is some polynomial with a variable y you can write p of y right how you have to read p of x suppose the polynomial is x minus 3x square plus 5 plus x raised to 4 okay. this is a polynomial how could we verify if the power of each variable is a whole number yes the power is 1 power is 2 nothing is written over here no variable means power is 0 which is a whole number power is 4 since the power are whole number this is a example of polynomial but if you observe this is not looking in a good way once i see the power 1 then i see the power 2 then i see the power if you observe power 0 over here and then power 4 over here if i want to rearrange this and write in a some particular way particular in the sense i can write the same polynomial in a standard way that is i will write the highest power first what is the highest power among this yes the highest power is the last one x raised to 4 is the highest power of x so i'll write the x raised to 4 first so x raised to 4 after 4 which is the next highest power the next highest power is 2 that means i will write this term this entire term this entire term is minus 3x square after this x square the highest power is x raised to 1 so i will write this x raised to 1 nothing is written over here that means there is a plus sign so x raised to 1 And the last term which is left is plus five. Correct. Since we know the addition or subtraction is commutative, we can rearrange them. Still, the polynomial rem remains the same polynomial. Correct. What we have done, we have rearranged the terms of a polynomial in a descending order of their power. Descending order. Why I am saying descending order? Because four, then two, then one, then zero. It is a descending order, right? Come over a number, correct? So this this form, this form of polynomial is known as a standard form of a polynomial. Okay, but still I feel there is something which is missing. After power four, there is directly a power two term, correct? So I don't like it. What I will write? I know the same polynomial can be written as x raised to four is okay, but I want to write this x raised to three also, because after four three comes. Right. So what I will do? I will just multiply that x raised to three by zero. So what does it gives? It's zero. I have added zero. Still the polynomial will remain the same. Correct. So I will repeat everything as it is, but add this a single thing. Correct. I just added this term which was missing after four. I wanted three. So I added that x raised to three with the zero sign. Zero as a multiplication. Correct. So this when we rearrange them. it's become a standard form of a polynomial correct and when you include everything which is missing it's become index form what it is known as a index form in this 4 3 2 1 0 everything is there correct each power has been there so it is known as a index form after this if you want after this there comes one more concept which is required that is known as a coefficient okay so let us understand what is the meaning of a coefficient coefficient is nothing but the the number which is multiple of x in this example in this index form if i observe x raised to 4 has a coefficient as 1 <coughs> x raised to 3 has a coefficient 0 x square has a coefficient minus 3 x raised to 1 nothing is written that means it should be multiplied by plus 1 and the last is plus 5 so if if you write those coefficient that is 1 0 minus 3 plus 1 and 5 not necessary to write this plus correct so in this case what we have done is we have just wrote the coefficient with comma separate the name inside a circular brackets so this is known as a coefficient form okay